Bonjour, mesdames, messieurs. We've just spent overnight on this ferry here. If you watched the last vlog, we ended that just as we were going to bed and we suddenly realised it was two o'clock French time because we forgot about the hour distance. Difference. I'm not awake yet. Anyway, my lovely male companions here in the cabin have put the kettle on, thankfully, and they're making me a cup of tea. Here's the view from my bunk here. So my feet are one of them. Invisible boyfriends filming out of the window for you. You can see the lovely Breton coast there. Who's this? Oh. Who do we have here? Is this the famous vlogger? Mm. <laughs> I'm gradually waking up, working my way down towards the end of the bed. There's my nice cup of tea. A little bit stronger than I normally have. We are arriving in approximately 30 minutes. There's land up ahead. I suppose I'd better get dressed. So I've resumed my elevated position here in my bunk. I've got dressed. I forgot to bring my hairbrush into the cabin, so I'm just going to be scruffy haired for a bit. Me and Dan have had messages to say that we don't need to pay any extra for our phone charges and it comes out of our UK allowance here. Dan's just recommended the shower. Be here, look, look, be here. Woo. We're not allowed to go down yet though, but we're going to go and try and find our companions down in the cafe. <laughs> We lost again. I think we're supposed to be finding the right door to go down to the car. I'm not sure. Everyone's like got to go at the right time. This way. Do you know where we're going? Well, it's a C on this one. We should be in D. No, Alright, where are we now? Three. This is it. It's not our door, but it's our deck. I think we're at the end. We, are. we were right at the front, weren't we? On the side. The end one, the furthest left. Wow, we're coming off. We only just made that in time, actually. Here we go. We've parked up here really near to the port. We're just waiting for all of us to gather together and then we're going on to have some breakfast together. We've got three vehicles between Me. us <laughs> and there are <laughs> two, four, I'm not in time six, control, seven of us together. Nous attendons pour mes amis. We had a last minute panic to assemble quite a lot of stuff for the car, including this GB sticker. We also have this Cymru sticker. So we also needed a full set of bulbs for the car, which involved actually 12 in total, which came to about 40 quid. Stickers at the front here as well on the lights. Invisible Boyfriend says it has to be on the southwest corner of the main beam. And a high-vis jacket for everybody in the car and first aid kit, yes, that good band there. Triangle? Triangle, yeah. Anything else? Uh, yeah, also breathalyzer kit. Breathalyzer kit? Yeah. Oh, blimey. Yeah, that, that, that's <laughs> so that if you do get stopped, you've got no excuse. Oh, right. Because if you breathalyse yourself, then you tell, oh, I'm, I'm too drunk to drive, I must not use my car, instead of which you get that. Oh, I see. <coughs> well, I didn't know that. Not forgetting your insurance documents and your thing, V5. What do they call it? Logbook. There you go, with all your details on it. We're still waiting for our friends. I'm starting to wake up a bit now. Has an emergency uh, can of Pepsi in the bag, which is just what's needed right now, even though I know it's bad for me. Look, top of the fence has got a letter I on it. I for Imo and Izzy. It welcomes us to France. That was a long wait, but we're finally off. And Dan's in the driving seat. He's getting used to the invisible boyfriend's car and driving on the other side of the road, all in one go. Look at that steep road up there ahead. Well, this must be it, perhaps. Don't need to know. We seem to be passing through lots of farming land, We've seen lots of crops growing. Nous sommes arrivés. I don't know how to pronounce that R in French. I need to make that my mission to find out soon. Because I really can't remember. Oh, I think that might be the police station there. What a beautiful morning. Oh, I forgot the houses in France have shutters. I remember being very taken with that when I was 14 and first came to France. 
It's early in the morning for us. The length of those shadows. Goodness. The sun feels beautifully warm on the back of my neck. Because I'm otherwise a little bit chilly. Not too bad. What a quaint little house that is. That's not the cafe we're going to. We're following the guys up ahead. They've got somewhere specific in mind. These beautiful hanging baskets here. They're all down the street. They look lovely. I'm taking ages because I just can't stop looking around everywhere. It's so lovely. Look at all those chimneys. Interesting structure. I wonder what this was for. These old timber beams here. They look ever so old. Very rusty looking nails there. Somebody's knitted cosies for the bollards. How funny. They're all the way along up the street. We've done a bit of an about turn because the cafe that our friend had in mind is actually closed, so going back to the one that we just passed. Breakfast is here. I'm having a pano raisin. I don't know if I just pronounced that right or not. My first French conversation, I've already made my first linguistic gaffe and asked for um, un peu de lait pour le chat, which I believe is a little bit of milk for the cat. I meant the tea and I got it mixed up. It should have been tear, apparently, which is the same as Welsh. Sugar's in cubes. Jenga, anyone? Oops, I think I've lost already. All finished now, that was really nice. And uh, yeah, time to go off now, get to the hotel, and then have a sleep and rehearse after that. That's the plan. Coming up is a bit of a spectacular steeple. There appear to be cows crossing the road in front of us. <laughs> that cow oh. wants to eat that bush. That's why it stopped. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get that with cars, you. <laughs> Stopping for a nibble. <laughs> oh, there's Just going to stop for that bush over there. Cow mistress there. The cow flag. Do you suppose the, the flag is for the cows or for the motorists? You see, back in the day, they would have had an old English sheepdog to bite their ankles to keep them moving. Oh, ouch. I'm trying to get comfortable. So I'm tired. We've had a little wee wee stop. I don't even know what the time is 10 or 11 or something. I don't know which clocks are on British time and which are on French time, but just go in with the flow. People are looking at the map, coordinating routes. So I think Dan's eating mini Snickers. <laughs> we are nearly there, apparently. It's just on the other side of the bridge. And that's just the second bridge. It might be the second bridge, actually. Right? So we have to be on the right one side. We have arrived at the Airbnb of our singers here. Yeah? And I'm exhausted. I think we're going to just get our bearings a bit and then decide what to do and make a more consolidated plan. So we're on the road again. We didn't stop, we decided we're going to go into town now, get our festival passes and find the hotel, check in, have a snooze and then come back and rehearse when we've had a bit of a rest. I can hear the first bit of folk music coming out from this festival. technically sort of here, but there's nowhere to park the car. We're just going round and round <laughs> trying to find a space. So I think we're just going to have to sort of hover on the side of the road and one of us is going to have to run in to the hotel, see if they've got any sp specific parking. Well, we finally found somewhere that'll do for now. So we're going to see if we can check into our hotel without our festival wristbands and see if that'll work. We've got our passports. And here is our hotel, that one with the hotel sign on it. So it's about half past one now, 
and we went to the hotel. The rooms aren't ready until three, but they have accepted our stuff. They're looking, looking after it for us and they're going to put it in our rooms. So we're just heading into town now. We're going to try and get our festival passes and sort out anything official that needs to be sorted out. And then we're going to head back to the hotel, hopefully for a sleep. Starting to get into the heart of things now. That's the Welsh pavilion up there with that big dragon head on it. And that's where we'll be playing. But not until tomorrow night, fortunately, because we're knackered today and we could do with a last minute rehearsal or two. Looks like they're having a tongue pass. On the stage. That's where we'll be playing. We can't find our reception area though. We've had some very useful advice from the Track Cymru stall. That's the Welsh stall. And they said we have to go to the stadium to get our passes and all that. I'm starting to wake up a little bit now. And I'm walking around. I was fit to drop by the time we arrived at our friend's Airbnb earlier. I literally just slumped on the sofa while everybody else decided what to do. Now that looks refreshing. Fancy a dip, lads? We still can't find our tickets. I've lost Dan and the boyfriend now. I suspect, I think I know where they may have gone, which is back to the entrance of this field, but there were some little reception staff people I did ask, is that where we should go? And they didn't think so, but I bet they could tell us where to go, so I'm gonna go and ask them anyway. Yeah, those ladies in there, they sorted us out, they were really nice. It's in here, second floor. We finally have our festival wristbands, so we've got free entry to shows with this and can get backstage and stuff and also to the refractory. And because we've got about 45 minutes left now before we can check into our hotel rooms, we are going to check out said refractory and see what's what. It's in a school actually. That'd be interesting. I can practice my phrase I learned in my book now. J'ai envie de manger quelque chose cet après-midi. Which means fancy eating something this afternoon. Oh, disappointment on the first day. They're just closing. We need to go from 12 till 2, unfortunately, but we won't make that mistake again. We're going to find something alternative. Well, it's about half two now. The boys have stopped for a sausage crepe and I'm having an iced tea. We'll be going to the hotel room fairly soon. So I think I'll just scoff something out of my food stash and then crash out for a bit when we do. Heading back to our hotel now via a little supermarket to get some milk for the tea and that sort of thing. I've realised, having done the maths now, I was a bit ambitious thinking I was going to get a sleep in. What we hadn't accounted for was not getting into the hotel till three. So, yes. But luckily, I've had a bit of a second wind and I think I'm going to be able to cope. Still not quite ready. Invisible boyfriend cannot cope with the heat. He's brought his own fan and he's absolutely fit to expire. So we've put the fan on him. It's really true. <laughs> That's my girly pink adapter. See how much I love him. It's about 10 to four now and we haven't had a second of rest. We just ran in. I shoved some food down my gob, packed my bag and off we go now for a rehearsal. Right, and it's really, really hot in the car. Yeah, I think we're. There's two floors. We're in the multi-story car park here. Go down further. Ready? Yeah. The invisible boyfriend is. Uh, uh, we, we looked all of this. Good voice. In the, in the middle aisle. Well, that's going out. So done. Down, down. We were trying to park the car. That's are, we having, nice uh, to say are, we, are we having a little trouble there with... We have some rubbish out of it. There's lots of like specially restricted areas. What the hell? It's not as nice as a car. No. Is that disabled? Yeah. yeah that's, that's why there's a space there. What at the end? Is that a space? Mm, is that right? It's got a number on it. A number? 
Does that mean it's reserved for a flat? No, but that'd be reserved for a flat, wouldn't it? They've all got numbers on it. Oh, have they? Yeah, look. Well, that looks possible. It doesn't say forbidden to me. No, it doesn't. Finally get in there before someone else gets in. We're going to just leave this car here for four days now. There's just nowhere at all to park it on the street. And then it's restricted to like three or four hours or something. So it's no good. But this is walking distance now from the centre and from where the singer is staying, which is where we're going to go and rehearse now. So Dan's just reversing that tight into the wall. This is a cute little street we're going down now. Oh, this is where we are. This is our little house, is not it? Where we're uh, going to go and rehearse. Cool. It's about 20 to 9 at night now. We've just about finished practicing. We had a nice long go at it and everything was coming together lovely. It's starting to sound really gorgeous. So tomorrow we're rehearsing again. But right now we're heading into town because Invisible Boyfriend over there wants to go and find a session. So that's what we're going to do. But I'm going to end the vlog now. So I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give the video a like if you liked it because it helps the channel to grow. Comment down your thoughts below and subscribe for more adventures and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! It's about six o'clock in the morning or I don't know, quarter past six or something. And no, it's not actually. No, quarter past seven French time because we've gone. So, uh, I'm not really awake yet. Right, so. 